It is now the big corporations that ask or demand security from our governments and are actually getting it. So instead of focusing on growing inequality, many governments are now taking steps to reward those multinationals with even lower taxes. So multinationals are benefiting twice. Profits go up and taxes go down. And it seems to become a welfare state for the corporates. It's not right that countries and our two are among the worst offenders, compete in a race to the bottom to drive down tax rates and fuel tax dodging, while the neoliberal rules of the game hinder a race to the top in industrial development. We have to ask ourselves, how on earth are we played like this by big corporations? What do these companies actually need to rake in more and more, leaving the rest of us worse off? Actually, there's just two things they need, just two things. One, conservative governments, and two, tax competition. And unfortunately, I'm a bit embarrassed to say this, the current Dutch government is providing just that. Instead of investing in good education, universal health care, affordable housing, it has chosen to cut corporate profit tax rate by 4% and abolish the tax on dividends. Why? Why? Because they can because multinationals have asked for it, have lobbied for it. Europe itself is a tax haven. And if Europe is a tax haven, the Netherlands is its beach resort, really. And ultimately, it leaves ordinary people, the ones who pay their taxes, bearing the cost. Now is the time to come together and stop the race to the bottom. And that is why we will never join a government that lowers the corporate tax rate. And it's why we must stop the current government plans from its erroneous path to hand out a five billion gift, which is actually needed for the people in the Netherlands. And we can do it. We can build a new economy that delivers for all the peoples of Europe and globally that works for the many, not the few. But we can only do it if we rediscover our driving radical purpose, if we remember how to organize, to campaign, and to win, to be successful. We need internationalism that doesn't lead to a race to the bottom. We need internationalism that leads to a march to the top. Let's reawaken the optimism of the progressive. We, the socialist parties of Europe, are the future. We have the ideas to build a new economic consensus. Or, as a rather popular slogan once read, for the many, not the few. Thank you very much.